couldn't blame the folks for laughing. A Texas ranger riding into a town with a baby in his arms wasn't what you'd call an everyday sight, especially a town like Sweetwater. Dad, come out here a minute. But even in Sweetwater, folks had babies, even if there were lots of better towns to raise a kid in. And this was the first time a ranger delivered one all wrapped up in a nice, neat package. It sure looked peculiar. Okay, Jake, come back next week. Hi, Hope. What do you got there? What does it look like? Yeah, I want you to look it over, Doc, and see if it's all right. Sure thing, Hobie, only... I didn't know that you... I found it on a north road. There was nobody around to take care of it, so I brought it in. Sure, Hobie, sure. Well, from the sound of her, I'd say she's right fine. Or is it a he? I don't know. You don't... Come on, baby, we set you right down. Yeah, it's a she. Hmm. Probably born because she's just plain hungry. When did she eat last? Well, darn if I know. You don't know. Well, can't you guess? Well, we rode for two hours, but uh, I don't know when she ate before that. You don't. Well, no wonder she's wailing. Brain. <laughs> They're sure enough fast on the draw, but they can be awful slow about important things. Now get yourself down to the saloon and see if you can't scare up some milk. That's about all the medicine she needs a bit. Oh, uh, Doc. What now? Can you tell me where I can find a Harriet Salisbury? Who? Harriet Salisbury. Harriet Salisbury? Nope, never heard of her. Who's she supposed to be? Oh, skip it. Bobby! It's this I hear about you and the baby. I found her. Found her? Under a coach about 10 miles this side of McKell. Hold up, looks like driving two passengers dead. Shot? In the back. Probably the stage from Abilene. Should have been here by now, as a matter of fact. You mean that baby was there all alone? Her mama was lying dead right beside her. Must have pulled the baby in under the coach to uh, protect her from the sun. That's what saved her. The baby was too young to talk. That's really what saved her, I'll bet. I also found this inside the baby's blanket. You know her? Why, she's got to be here. A woman doesn't come all that way with a baby without a good reason. You can ask around, Hobie. I know just about everybody in this town. There's nobody here by that name. Well, what about strangers, uh, newcomers? The only newcomer in town is a drummer. Got in a couple hours ago. His name sure ain't Harriet Salisbury. I thought you were going for that milk, Hobie. What's keeping you? I'm going right now. Doc. Well, see that you do. This baby's just about ready to climb a wall. You want to stick around a little while? I'll ride out with you and uh, check on that stagecoach. You might rustle up a buckboard for the body. That's your Mr. Nelson. You can always try your luck some other day. No, sir, I can't. I won't be here another day if I can help it. I got a rock to cover. I wouldn't be here now if that stage from Abilene had come in on time. Are you going to board her? No, no. I got my own horse and buckboard outside. No, it's those passengers I'm waiting for. There just aren't any better customers than passengers getting off a stagecoach. You know, after a long, hard ride, why, well, you can sell them. And... Hey, you, you want to deal those cards now? What do you sell? Oh, razors, neckties, tobacco. Hey, you know what I have got? I got a, a genuine silk scarf. It's a pretty thing. It's all purple, you know, lights of feather. I think your lady friend there might be interested in that. In fact, I got it right here in my bag, if you can take a look at it, ma'am. it is. Try me when I'm not so sober. Set up a couple, Jim. It was quite an awful you had a while back, Ranger. Who's the lucky lady? I'm not getting personal. You wouldn't happen to have any milk, would you? Milk? You hear that, boys? <laughs> Is that milk for the baby or for you, Ranger? 
For himself, I'll bet. Fly off the handle mighty easy, don't you, Ranger? Can't you stand a little joshing? The stagecoach that baby was almost held up. Her mama was shot in the back. Along with the driver and another passenger, does that sound funny? What do you bet, Mr. Nelson? Oh, too much 20. Our steak, Ranger. Well, I'll trouble you for that milk now, if you don't mind. Yeah. It's not Jim. Give me, uh, three. Good enough, I'm afraid. Go on, the luck. You know everything's against me today. First the cards, then that coach. I think you know what it is. Do I? You seem to go for this bracelet a few hours ago. Something wrong with it now? There's plenty wrong with it. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't fool with me, Clem. The moment that ranger told about the holdup, he came to me clear as day. I hope I'm wrong in what I think you're trying to say, Marcia. Suppose you come right out with it. All right. You pulled off that holdup. You killed those passengers. That's what I thought you meant. I thought I knew what I was doing when I took up with you. A card shop and a cheat. Sure, so what? I'm no angel. There are things I've done in my time that make a hair stand on end. But cold-blooded killing, that's not one of them. Even I draw the line someplace. Get out of my sight, Clem. You and I are through. You sure you want it that way? You bet I'm sure. Could be wrong, you know. Am I? Where else could you get a thing like that? There isn't a store for miles around. Well, I seem to have underestimated you, Marcia. That's a very shrewd deduction. I'm shrewd, all right. In just about every department, except when it comes to picking the right man, I draw a deuce each time. Will you get out of my room, get out of town before... Who are you what? Rangers come in mighty handy sometimes. You shouldn't have said that, Marcia. If there's one thing I detest, it's taking your troubles to the law. Keep away from me, Clem. Get out of my room, Clem. Get away from me. Do you hear? of any value. This must belong to the baby's ma. Toy, doll, baby clothes, that kind of thing. Well, what do you know? That's uh, Marcia, the saloon girl. Harriet Salisbury. Sure don't sound like Marcia. That's the trouble with this part of the country, Hobie. People from the East come out here and sort of let the hair down. Change their names, their ways of living. Even the way they talk, some of them. I'd like to have known, Marsha, about the time that picture was taken. The baby must be a niece. I hate to be the one to tell her about it. Well, I'll tell her. I'll see you back in town. And I raise you. Forty. Where's Marcia? I don't know. She's probably in a room. Come 
Marcia, do you mind if I come in? What happened to you? Nothing. Skunk passed through my room. Who? I don't ask the law for any favors. That way we keep out of each other's way. Well, you sure got a twisted way of looking at the law. Hey, B, that's the way I operate. What brought you here, anyway? Little okay. Keith. Wait a minute, not so fast. From the look on that schoolboy face of yours, I'd say it was something pretty important. It is. Well, far away. Maybe bruised, but I can still hear it. here a long time. I kept writing her not to. Sweetwater's there's no place for a woman like her. Baby. Can't get mentioned before. One that passed through my room. He's a two-legged skunk with fancy ways and fancy lingo. He goes by the name of Clem Reese. He beat you? I told him I was on him. It was his way of stopping me going to the law. I guess rangers do come in handy sometimes. Well, we'll need more than just your say-so. Well, he gave me a bracelet this morning, said he bought it. Maybe he did. Not that bracelet. It was big, studded with diamonds. There isn't a store for miles around you could get a thing like that. You'd have to go all the way to Fort Worth. And Clem wasn't gone long enough to get anywhere near Fort Worth. He did it, I tell you. He murdered my sister. Well, it won't take us very long to find out. See all that? I'm gonna raise you 150. I'll see you. And I'll raise you 100. Hmm? Hey, Reese, what are you gonna do? You gonna see me or not? Reese, you hear me? You in or out? I think you got a winner this time, Mr. Nelson, hmm? Maybe. I'll take you up on that race. I bet you never thought you'd see that bracelet again. know about that. <laughs> I, I, I won. You see that? Hey, hey, the drinks are on me, everybody. I, I just knew my luck had changed. I knew it had have to, and I won that bracelet back fair and square. Didn't I reach fair and square, huh? It certainly did, Nelson. Well, sir, no, I did. Mr. Nelson, hmm? I've been looking for a good razor. And do you have any to sell? Well, I sure have, Ranger, but why don't we go over to the bar and let me buy you a drink? This one's on me. I, I can sell you a razor anytime. I'd rather have it now, if you don't mind. All right. Is there, uh, any special kind you want? No, just a plain, everyday, ordinary razor. All right. Well, well here's one. It's, uh, good and sharp. It's, uh... Gen genuine seal. Like that. Let me see another. What? Well? How about down on 
underneath, underneath all that stuff. No, on a, a look. No, Ranger, that, uh... Well, that's, that seems to be the only one I have in stock. You mind if I take a look? Hey, what, what are you doing? My, my, you certainly do have a lot of items in there. Mr. Nelson, are these all for sale? Sure they are. They're no telling what the folks are like these days. Yes, uh, you must get quite a good price for a thing like this. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Well, they're real pearls. Real pearls. Say, I'll tell you what I'll do, though. I'll, uh, I'll let you have those just what they cost me. All right. Well, that sounds like a very fair deal, Mr. Nelson. Sheriff? Yeah, Obi. You don't have a jail in this town, do you? Afraid not. It's too bad. You ought to get one. We're planning on that. Well, but Mr. Nelson isn't going to be able to wait. Do you have any uh, suggestions, Sheriff? I'll go along with you, Obi. All the way. Hey, what, what are you going to do? I'm going to ask you to draw, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> You, you you can't do that. I'm going to pay you just what you paid to get these. Now that was your deal, wasn't it, Mr. Nelson? No, you you got it all wrong. I didn't I didn't kill those people. That I mean they, they were dead when I got there. I only took the stuff. That's all. Draw, Nelson. Huh? Draw. Well, I don't have a gun, Ranger. And, uh, you wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you? You have a Smith & Wesson 22 and an inside shoulder holster. I saw it the first time I ever came in here. Now I'm waiting, Mr. Nelson. I'm not going to draw. There ain't nothing you can do to force me. Sure. All right. Come on, get along. Ranger. I guess I got a lot of apologizing to do today. Might as well start with you. Hobie! What do I do with this baby? The baby belongs to Harriet Salisbury. Yeah, I know, but where's she supposed to hang out? You don't have to look any further, Doc. You better fix her up, Doc. She's uh, kind of bruised. Fix who up? Harriet Salisbury. Mm -hmm. 